Hello guys, welcome back to my channel for another G-Shock tutorial video. So for today, I'm going to unboxing and reviewing this model of GMA Dash B800 Dash 980R. So this is the smallest version of GBA 800, and this watch is very uh, unique color. It's a hero color for me. And before we get started, just make sure you subscribe to the channel just by clicking the red button down there so you can keep up to date with what's up. So what we are waiting for, let's do! So the model of the watch is GMA-5800-980R. Dash dash 5555 case number. So let's open it. So this is the Pakistan can. And here is international warranty card. One year coverage battery and machine. So model of the watch they purchase and stamp. Here is international warranty regulations. So inside the booklet, you can see all the business partner of G-Shock all over the world. So this is our company, Kuwait Al Battle Brothers Establishment. So we are the authorized dealer here in Kuwait. So this is the module number 5554-5555 or case number 5555 so this is the manual booklet guide this is the watch so this is the watch Specifications, case, bezel, material, resin, resin band, nail bright, shock resistant, mineral glass, 200 meters water resistance size of case 50.7 log to log from here to here 45.2 the diameter of the case so from here to here and the thickness of the watch is 15.5 millimeters total weight is 52 grams other pictures you can see on your screen. Let's take a look at the watch back of the case. Casio engraving the G logo, shock resist acceleration sensor, 5555 case number. The model of the watch is GMA Dash B800, stainless steel back, Japan movement, and the watch is case in Thailand. 
water resist 20 bar so 200 meters water resistance and this is bluetooth so it has a bluetooth also so you can see here this is the under wing band so the purpose of this is to be more fit on your wrist now let's go to buckle so the buckle is plastic resin and the loop or keeper is uh, resin so the band so the band is a little bit soft and it feels comfortable when you wearing the watch so behind the band it has a design now let's go to front of the watch so this is the bezel so on the bezel you can see here the upper bezel uh, G-Shock it's written here G-Shock so on the screen you can see the analog analog hand so this is the indicator of seconds 1 to 60 here is uh, you can see the positive display uh, January 29 so it has a uh, month date and day so you can change to digital hour also so by press reset you can see the normal timekeeping here on the positive display uh, digital hour so if you press this one steps seconds so there are uh, three uh, display configuration so it has a month uh, date in day digital hour in day and steps step tracker bluetooth casio and the analog hand is medium so on the side on the bezel you can see the unique design so this is the button it has five buttons two from my uh, left side and two from my right side and below the bezel one this is light so now i will teach you every functions of the buttons so let's uh, first here for adjust so for adjust button this is for adjusting the time when you are adjusting the time just press hold after beep release now you can see here it's a blink the numbers is blinking so mode button two seconds mode again two hour so for example um 12 12 30 mode two uh minute so this is forward button mode again so 12 and 24 hour 12 and 24 hour format you can uh, set so military time 24 mode again so this is the year so 2022 is correct january mode again and 29 now so the months and date in day is correct so keys if you uh turn on the sound you can off and on so lt1 this is the uh the light after glow you can set to one and three one and three after glow the light and press one time adjust so it will set automatic so we cleared for the adjust button so let's move to mode button so mode button it has stopwatch recall timer dual time 
alarm and display configuration normal display configuration so stopwatch so press start if you want to uh, stop start again and reset that is stopwatch recall so recall is like a cache memory on the watch so it will log the last transaction you made in this watch timer so timer how to use the timer same procedure when you are adjusting the time so press adjust hold after beep release mode button so doubt is so one so how many timers we can make five five timers so mode so that is 10 minute so for example only one minute guys then press one time adjust and start That is timer guys dual time so you can set another time so how how to use the dual time same procedure when you are adjusting the time press adjust hold after beep release for example uh, five five twenty then press one time adjust so that is dual time guys alarm so how many alarms we have for five alarms so we have five alarms guys how to activate the alarm so you have five alarms so press and just hold after beep release like start button this is forward and backward so three in the morning now you can see the tree is blinking and on so alarm one then press one time adjust so the alarm is active now and the last is normal display configuration so this reset button is to change the display configuration like i said earlier so it has steps month date and day seconds and digital hour and day steps okay so this is start button is for bluetooth so you can see the adj adjust you can connect on your mobile so just open the application of g-shock connectivity guys just download the g-shock connectivity on your apps and uh, it's working uh, on iOS and Android. So the last button is light. Okay. So now I will try this on my wrist. By the way guys, so this watch is for unisex, but the color is for women guys, so if you are, are, uh, if you are a small wrist like me, so it can be, because uh, this is for unisex. Late release of this watch last October 2019, so the price of the watch is $120. 
In Philippine money is 6,000 pesos guys. Okay guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching until the end. And I hope you learned from our video. And if yes, please comment down below for more suggestions. Like, share, and subscribe. See you on my next vlog guys.